Dobby. Harry Potter should have listened to Dobby. Harry Potter should have gone back home when he missed the train. It was you. You stopped the barrier from letting Ron and me through. Indeed. Yes, sir. You nearly got Ron and me expelled. At least you would be away from here. Harry Potter must go home. Dobby thought his bludger would be enough to make Harry Potter see the... Your bludger? You made that bludger chase after me? Dobby feels most aggrieved, sir. Dobby had to iron his hands. You better clear off before my bones come back, Dobby, or I might strangle you. <laughs> Dobby is used to death threats, sir. Dobby gets them five times a day at home. I don't suppose you could tell me why you're trying to kill me? Not kill you, sir. Never kill you. Dobby remembers how it was before Harry Potter triumphed over he who must not be named. We house elves were treated like vermin, sir. Of course, Dobby is still treated like vermin. <laughs> 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 Why do you wear that thing, Dobby? This, sir, it is a mark of the house elves' enslavement. Dobby can only be freed if his master presents him with clothes. <gasps> Listen! Listen! Terrible things are about to happen at Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not stay here now that history is to repeat itself. Repeat itself? You mean this has happened before? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Ah. Ah. Dobby! Dobby. Ah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop, Dobby! <laughs> Tell me, Dobby, when did this happen before? Who's doing it now? Dobby cannot say, sir. Dobby only wants Harry Potter to be safe. No, Dobby. Tell me, who is it? Put him here. What happened? There's been another attack. I think. Do you know, I think he's been petrified. Madam Pomfrey. Look, perhaps he managed to take a picture of his attacker. <laughs> what can this mean, Albus? It means that our students are in great danger. What should I tell the staff? The truth. Tell them Hogwarts is no longer safe. It is as we feared, Minerva. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened again. The next moment, Dumbledore and McGonagall were backing into the room, carrying what looked like a statue. Together, they heaved it onto a bed. It means that the Chamber of Secrets is indeed open again. Hermione whispered to Harry that it was about time he collected together the ingredients for the polyjuice potion. As soon as your arm is better, I think you should go to Diagon Alley. It was half term by the time Harry's arm was better, and following Hermione's advice, he caught the train to London. Harry met Hagrid in Diagon Alley. Mm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> 